Hello everybody, this is Martin and I'm from RapidMiner and I'd like to talk to you about how to use RapidMiner and Python together. So how you can execute Python code within RapidMiner and I would like to focus on how to use PyCharm, which is a Python IDE within this project. So first of all, you might ask the question, why? Why does anybody want to use Python within a data science platform like RapidMiner? And for me, the reason for this is threefold. Number one is you might encounter a binary data format which uh, has C libraries but not Java libraries, so you can't easily write a RepMiner operator for that. But you might easily uh, get this into Python and pipe it into RapidMiner. Second is I love Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a great charting library. Using it within RapidMiner makes a lot of sense. That's why I'm doing that. And the third one, basically for people who already have worked on, a pro on the project within Python and you want to reuse the code you've already written, you don't want to re-implement the same thing in RapidMiner. So of course, then you can opt for the uh, Python execution within RapidMiner. So let's have a look how to make this most effective. Let's go into RapidMiner Studio first. So how does it usually work when you do uh, Python analytics in RapidMiner? Uh, let's get some data in, for example, here the Sona data set, and then you usually run an execute Python um, operator connected like this and connect it to the right-hand side. And then you have this small tiny script in here and you define your RM main or where you can basically do whatever you want in Python. So I can write, of course, something like data on this, uh, uh, something equals something and that works uh, but the downside is of course i don't have tab completion here and uh, all these things which i know from an ide so i am personally nowadays coding more java than python so i'm used to ides and hitting ctrl p and you know these kind of things which i'm used for my intellij so whenever i code python i would like to have something similar in uh, my Python environment. And luckily there is. So PyCharm is like the equivalent from the same vendor to my IntelliJ environment. So what I can do here with RapMana 9, we added this script port to the execute Python operator. So I can open a file and pipe it into my execute Python operator to do whatever it should do. And this can now be pointed to an Python file, which is located on my disk uh, or in GitHub or something like that. And then I can simply run this process and it executes the uh, Python script, which I uh, pointed uh, the open file operator to. And now it becomes kind of cool. Let's go into my PyCharm. So I can now use this RM main here in this script. So this is a script I just opened with the open file operator. And then I can write my function on it, like data at one equals five, and then it just executes. That's cool, but you can even do one step more because at the moment, if I uh, hit run, it well runs, but well, I don't have a main function. It doesn't really do anything. So if you configure your Python script correctly, you can execute the process really in your IDE and can then debug there, you get tab completion, you get all the good stuff uh, from an IDE. So let's have a look together on how such a um, how, how such a script might look like. So let's go into my example.py and zoom a bit in. So first of all, I define a small temp folder, which is just where my data lives. And then this is the usual R main, which you know you already implemented. You can overload it with a, with some boolean like persist equals true. If this is true, and if you execute it from RapidMiner, then it's always true. Then we can pickle our data just to the temp folder. So we store it in our temp folder. So when we're going to Studio, and now I select the other file and just run it, then it does what it's supposed to do, but it also uh, serialize it itself on disk using the pickle library. And then I can again do something with it and be happy. But now I can write my Python main down here. And in my Python main, 
I read the data I just wrote to disk in RapidMiner, and then I execute the same RapidMiner main function, but this time with persist equals, to, uh, equals false. And now I can execute it and it runs and it really runs the main. So if I want to now debug my script or code a bit nicer, I don't need to do it within the RapidMiner script window anymore, but I can use um, the PyCharm IDE to make it more convenient for myself. And that's it from my end on RapidMiner and Python using PyCharm. If you have any question, please just post it down in the comments or connect with me either on Twitter or on Medium. It's both mschmitz underscore. I would be happy to get in contact with you. Thanks and have a nice day.